So it's no secret that people online are making money from apps. It's very clear. But the question is, I think I found a new opportunity that you could potentially jump on right now and get in early before everybody else. And that's Google AI Studio's new update and their kind of version of an app store. And what I'm gonna do in this video is go through and show you how you could potentially make money with this and get in early before most other people get in. Now I'm making no income claims here. I have no idea who you are or your work ethic. All I'm doing is showing you ways that you can make money online. And in this case, with something that you could potentially get in early. Let's get started. All right, guys, I wanna show you an opportunity that could potentially make you money in the future. So you wanna get ready now if you wanna dive into something like this. So this is a Shopify app store. And as you could probably imagine, a lot of these apps make a ton of money. Now, back in the day, like maybe six years ago, I made a bunch of apps and I sold them and we sold them for quite a lot. So the Shopify app store, it's like the, it's like the Apple app store. Basically, there's things on there that people use. And if you can create something, you could potentially make quite a bit of money. I do know that a lot of these make a significant amount of money because they're on the Shopify app store. Now, ChatGPT also has a very similar function and that's called GPTs. And you can see that I have my own GPTs here. And if we go to explore, you'll see that there's some GPTs here. So you might be asking me, how would you make money with this? I'll give you a quick example. If we go on my quiz bot right here and we ask it to do something, it's gonna create a quiz. It doesn't have it in here now, but usually, I've taken it out because I'm editing things, usually at the bottom of every single prompt, it would say, hey, check out my product or check out my course or something like that. People would click on it and that's how I would make money from my GPDs and there's other ways to make money as well. So these two specific things right here, people are making money from these and people are making money from their GPTs. If we go to explore, you'll see that there's a big list of GPTs here. And I do know that people make money from this as well because I've actually seen people where I'll put in something and then a prompt will come back or the AI will give me something back and at the bottom, there will be a call to action to someone's product or website and that's how they make money. So how does this, link up with Google Studio AI. So if we go to, I'm um, sorry, Google AI Studio right here, and we click on this tab up here, the navigation menu, you wanna go to build, and then you wanna go to gallery. Now in the gallery, right now, this is kind of like the App Store, essentially. So it's kind of like the Shopify App Store, and it's kind of like the GPTs here where it lists the top GPTs. So what I'm saying is we could potentially get in early on this because eventually you're probably gonna be able to monetize your apps on the gallery because this is gonna essentially become like an app store. And so what I'm doing is I'm showing you this now so you can get onto this early because if they bring in some way to actually monetize this and you can kind of monetize this now by putting in your own branding products and things like that. So let's basically show you what you can do right now to create a quick little easy app and we'll use an app that's already working on another platform. And so hopefully you understand what I'm saying here. This right now is the gallery, but eventually I think this is going to become like an app store or the chat GPT version of like an app store here where you can monetize your apps. So this is something you could definitely look into. So first of all, let me show you exactly what we're going to do. We're going to scroll through GPTs here. Now I haven't actually looked at any and we're going to look at the top GPTs, right? And we're going to choose one that we can kind of replicate over in Google. So a lot of the productivity, the writing productivity ones are really, really good. Um, so we've got presentations and stuff like that. We've got photorealistic image and video generator. We've got all of these types of things that we can go and replicate. So a couple of things that I would recommend you replicate is something like a photorealistic image or video generator would do really well. And this is number two in the productivity um, GPTs. And then we also have uh, research and analysis. I'm not really interested in that with education, uh, lifestyle, so personal color analysis. Um, we have programming, 
etc. So what I'm going to do is I saw one up here. I'm going to go with AI Humanizer here because that's a really, really simple one to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Google AI Studio here and we're going to go to start right here and then we're going to be able to build our idea. Now, keep in mind, guys, this idea that I'm going to be doing right now is just an example. I've simply just picked one of the top GPTs. So go through here and you might want to find something else if you don't like the specific idea that I'm doing in this tutorial. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say create uh, AI humanizer, a uh, humanize app that someone can paste AI text into and it will make it sound more human. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing this on the fly. You could do a better prompt if you like, but I'm just showing you an example here. And then what I'm also going to do is I want to incorporate my brand here somewhere. So this is my website here. I'm also now I don't know how this is going to turn out. But what I'm saying is we need a way to, to monetize this. Now later on, Google might add ways to monetize, but we're trying to get up in the ranks and to show on the front page of this Google gallery, before they start to like push it and monetize it and stuff. I'm going to say also put a link somewhere where on the app to my website as a call to action. This is my website. Now I'm gonna let chat, uh, sorry, Google AI do the call to action for me. But usually you could do a call to action like check out my product, check out my website, etc. You can essentially put anything on there, any type of branding or whatever to monetize it. But that's just one way to monetize because essentially, eventually this is going to be like an app store where people are going to come and they come now, but there's going to be an app store and there could be other ways to monetize. So I'm going to let this do its thing. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to chat GPT and I'm going to just see if it can give us something that we can use. Um, I don't know, some sort of article. I'm going to say, write me a 500 word article on the best um, car to buy under, uh, best car to buy in 2025. I don't know. I'm just getting it to write me a random article. We can use this to then test our app once it's been created. So it's, Okay, so here we go. So it made a bit of a mistake here. I'll call to action from Frank Lancaster. So this will go to my website. Yeah, it does. But you would obviously put in something here. So it didn't quite understand what we did there, but that's fine. We can say um, something like we can change it and say, hey, check out my website here, or this is created by Franklin Hatchet, or get my course here, or check out my brand, whatever you want it to do. So what we can now do is we can take this and we don't really care about I don't know, it's randomly just taken. Oh, yeah, see, so this actually shows my call to action that I usually have on my GPTs. So this is not the very best example, but we're going to go ahead and put this into here. And we're going to humanize the text. Just to see if it works. That's it. We just want to make sure this actually works. But hopefully over time, when people come to, because this is going to be on the gallery, on the Google AI gallery, when people come to use our specific app and it shows up on the gallery, so for example, our, our app could show up in here and keep in mind, people are going to click on these subcategories as well where our app could potentially um, show up in here and then we've got all these other things that we can click on. So somewhere your app will be. But the reason why we're copying the ones on here on the um, GPT is because we know that these are popular. We know that people are using these. See, the actual AI humanizer one is number one for writing. So we know that people use this. So it would make sense to do something similar here. So we now know that this works. So we've simply done this and we have now created this here. It's done, it's created. We can now save this and it could potentially show up on the Google AI. I'm just gonna call this the App Store, but it's the gallery. All right, so I just wanted to show you the potential here. And the point is like, some people still might not understand. The point is to get something on the homepage right now, because potentially in the future, Google is gonna be pushing it like an app store and like the GPT store. These people get a lot of traffic from these particular things. So you're getting in early 
on this. You're getting in early. So, you know, there's an app here that someone's made, very simple. There is, um, oh, wow, we went to the, I uh, didn't go to the gallery there. There's all of these other apps here as well. Infinite Wiki, um, this chat with Maps Live. There's a game here that people can use right now. So you can put your own ways to monetize this like I showed you in the code. Or we're going off the bet that potentially in the future, Google is going to add ways for you to monetize these specific apps where you can sell them or there's going to be other ways you can monetize them via advertising or something like that. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen, but it could potentially happen. So it could be the best opportunity would be to get in early now and at least have your app there. I'll see you guys in the next video.